Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Darian, and in today's video, I am so freaking excited to do. You guys have been requesting this for quite some time now, and I finally had some time. I went around my little office here, and I just pulled every single thing that I use and that was essential to have in nursing school. If you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe down below. Go ahead and give this video a big like and if you want to be notified every single time that I upload a new video go ahead and click that little bell notification to be notified last but not least if you are not following me on any of my social media platforms my names are going to be listed down in the description so without further ado I really don't want to drag this introduction so let's go ahead and jump right into the video alright guys so everything that I have here to the side I honestly could not have done or got through my first block of nursing school without these materials. I am really excited to show you what they are. I'm gonna be showing them really in no particular order. I'm just gonna show you one after another what I used and how they helped me. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. So I didn't really wanna show you guys like the obvious things that you should always have for school, you know, like pencils, papers, erasers, things like that. However, I did want to show you the um, brands of pens that I use just because they are the only ones that I use. Those are from Pilot. They are the G2 Premium Gel Pens. Uh, this is what they look like. I really, really like them because um, they have a wide variety of colors, like as you can see in here. These are literally my saving grace. I write all my notes in color pens. And that's really all I use in nursing school is just I color coordinate everything. It helps me stay organized. The brand that my friend actually introduced me to, she is currently a nurse and she still uses these till this day, are these paper me. I don't know, they're, they're kind of like markers, but they're not as thick as markers and they're not as thin as pens. But I really like these. I use these mainly to write like my pictures with because sometimes like a pen could be a little bit too harsh and kind of um, not bleed through, but kind of leave that imprint through the paper so I really like these because they are smooth they don't bleed through and I just prefer using markers to uh, draw my pictures over pens next what I buy also again I didn't want to show you guys the obvious but I um, think that well this is really an essential to have in nursing school it is going to be sticky notes I have a crap ton of sticky notes literally in my drawer over here I use these all the time so next thing that I found really really useful in nursing school mainly in um, clinicals was having a little tiny notebook. I carried this around in my clinicals and it was really really nice because whenever I was following like a nurse around or would have you know my little template in my pocket and then I would take it out and really write anything that I found most important. However I could tell you guys off the bat that I used this in the beginning and I'm not going to lie I'm not going to say that I carried this all throughout my clinical rotations I eventually switched to sticky notes because if I'm being honest this one wasn't as small as I would have liked because in my pocket it took up my entire pant pocket and it was uncomfortable like I'd sit down and it was just like a block in my pocket so if you could get a notebook maybe that's smaller than this one here that's gonna be helpful but I eventually turned to sticky notes and I just uh, uh, put sticky notes inside of my front pocket and it was an easier way to take notes as I was following my nurse throughout the day or something like that so that's something to keep in mind as well alright guys so what I have next is going to be um, blood pressure cuff um, this came in handy because before nursing school started I actually had this ordered in the mail already and I was beginning to practice my blood pressures on my family members just to make sure that I remembered skills and they didn't go away so I would recommend getting a blood pressure cuff alright guys so the next thing that I have here is a drug guide this is a pocket size it is literally as as big as my hand I really found this useful in lab class as, well as my clinicals I say this because it is super tiny you can just pull it out of your pocket if you are struggling with any drugs like myself I was definitely very very helpful get a drug guide even if it's not pocket size get a drug guide you could always use the internet as a resource but I still I'm still old school I love everything in book format so this is what I would recommend getting as well 
Alright guys, so the next item that I have here is a folding clipboard. So this is what it looks like. It does fold. It's really small. I loved carrying this around, especially in lab. With this as well, they do have these on Amazon. They could be very, very pricey, especially because I'm pretty sure you guys probably seen them with like the um, skills and all this stuff like taped on the front or the back of the clipboard but for me I just could not pay I could not find myself paying like $35 for a clipboard with all that information if I could look up all that information for one or I could just order this one for $13 it came with some uh, medical scissors and call it a day if I needed that information you know I could look it up on my own so folding clipboard was really helpful all right guys so the next item that I have is a freaking planner I know that I have not been saying where I got these items I am going to be posting every single link if I ordered something in the description down below but I do get questions on this planner a lot because what it says it says let your plans be known to God it's such a cute planner I got this one at Michaels though was it Michaels yeah it was no Burlington I got this at Burlington coat factory so um but as you guys can see I was very like color coordinated with everything that I did um, again I'm telling you guys I use sticky notes for everything this is kind of just how my planner looked but it was my saving grace I don't know any nursing student who does not use a planner but yes this is everything in nursing school so the next thing that I have here is probably my favorite item i use this like there was absolutely a no tomorrow it is a book stand it also has a little light on top i got this at amazon it does have also three settings as far as like the brightness of the light goes um and then you could just adjust it to i don't know how to oh yeah you could adjust it to any degree that you want i found this so useful because i would be studying and again like i said i really like hardcover books instead of online just because um, my eyes strain a lot when I'm on the computer for a really long time so I found this most helpful because I would be doing like an assignment on my computer and then I'd have a book in front of me and then I had this on top so if you don't have a lot of desk space this literally was my favorite purchase in nursing school I really 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 recommend this one and so yeah as you guys can see you literally just hold a book like that you have your light on top and the rest is history I love it next item is going to be a stethoscope case I cannot tell you guys how many students didn't have this to begin with I had it and everybody was like what the heck that's the best thing ever so get a stethoscope holder case or whatever they're called I got this one on Amazon they're fairly inexpensive and the quality inside is really really soft it's great because your your stethoscope just not being thrown in your backpack it's organized everything is inside of here you guys can see I should have emptied out all my stuff but everything is still in here quality is nice and soft let me show you guys how it looks so yes the quality is nice and soft I absolutely love this this is a must-have in nursing school so what I had inside of my stethoscope case was first and foremost my stethoscope I do have a Litman so this is what it looks like let me get the box for you so I do have the classic three Litman stethoscope. I just want to also show you guys this. I get a lot of compliments everywhere that I go. I have this little stethoscope jewel. It's is so pretty it looks like this I got this on, on Amazon as well it's not required I don't care I just like bling and I love I'm just a girly girl so yeah I got a little bling for my stethoscope and everybody compliments it so y'all should get one too they have a lot of different designs as well inside of the case again I had a badge uh, holder this I recommend getting because well, you have to get a badge holder. You have to have an ID. They will not let you in clinicals. They will not let you in lab unless you have your identification with you. So the next thing that I really, really, really recommend you all getting is going to be a pin light. This is used for when you're doing a head to toe assessment or something, just making sure pupils are dilating, constricting, I'm sorry. I would really recommend that you find a good company to get it from. I got this one from Apparel Pro. It was like five bucks, but it just instantly died on me like it just doesn't work anymore so I need to go ahead and get a new one but I could tell you guys from experience do not order LED lights make sure that the description of your pen light does not say LED because your patient will 
get blind if you flash an LED straight into their eyes. So be careful with that because I ordered three different pen lights off Amazon and every single one that has came in the mail has been LED. They're really, really dangerous, so just make sure that they are not LED. I recommend getting a watch. A lot of people have Apple watches, um, Fitbits, things like that. I personally wanted to just do a manual watch that I really didn't care about. I had a Fitbit, I really didn't use it a lot. I like this one just because if it got messy, dirty, lost, like it wasn't a huge, a huge investment. You know, the thing that I like most about this watch is that it is waterproof. I do recommend getting a waterproof watch because you're constantly washing your hands, you're constantly sweating underneath your gloves, and just having a waterproof uh, watch and knowing that it's gonna work a couple minutes later is super convenient. The cool thing about this watch is it is a medical uh, watch, so it has military time already built into it. So I really like that feature as well. And like I said, guys, I'm going to be posting everything that I'm showing you guys. I'm gonna be posting the links down in the description, so don't forget to check that out. Hey guys, so next I have these medical scissors. Like I said, I got these in a pack with the folding clipboard there. They're really, really nice. They're convenient to have. They are the size of my hand. However, there are smaller ones. I do recommend getting these. I carry them every single day to my clinical, and I could tell you guys that the nurses were very grateful for these because a lot of the times they forget them. So if you want to kind of start off on a great foot with your nurse that you are shadowing, Bring your scissors, bring your pen light, bring your watch, and you guys will be best friends. <laughs> Another thing that I had inside of my um, case here was my sticky notes. Like I told you guys during my clinical rotation, I eventually switched from that larger notebook that I had just bringing uh, sticky notes with me because it was more convenient that way. <laughs> guys, so the next thing that I have is um, ear plugs. I can tell you guys that these were my best friend during testing. I really, really recommend getting these. They were about like two dollars on Amazon fairly inexpensive and I eventually gave a pair to each one of my friends and they used them on the last exam or one of them did and she could not believe that she went all block without using these so these are a great little tool to have during your exams especially because it just kind of like locks everything else out you know all right guys so I cannot tell you guys how important this one is it is having a big enough water bottle for nursing school if you are in class for eight hours like I was you would get super thirsty and you don't want to keep missing class to fill up your little water bottle so get a water bottle that is big enough um, I got this one on Amazon as well and then I got this little cute nursing sticker from Amazon but it's kind of fading away actually this one was becoming too small for me so I went ahead and got a larger water bottle because I drink so much water so yeah guys get a big enough water because you don't want to keep making trips to the restroom to fill it up the next thing that I have as an, an essential for nursing school is this bad boy right here. It is a three ring hole puncher. I recommend getting this because you are constantly printing out forms and just printing out so much things. And for me, I like to be organized. I also have a binder, so I use this so much throughout school. I still use it every single day. Um, and yeah, it just helps me keep organized. So I went ahead and a friend told me about this little thing, but it is a mini stapler. Got it on Amazon. And this is really, really helpful during class, especially because you're all always given so many just uh, like um, assessment, care plans, all these things. So just having a stapler with you inside of your little pencil case is convenient. I didn't always use it, but it's still nice to have. So, All right, guys. So I can tell you that this was probably the most relaxing thing that I invested in during school was a um, diffuser. So this is really, really nice because it lights up, turns all of these different colors. It's really relaxing. I'm just all about essential oils. And so um, I have all of these two. They are the different oils. I bought this one separately, I believe, on Amazon as well. So get a diffuser, smell it before you go to sleep, smell it while you're studying because it really helped me out. So the next item that I have, a new laptop for nursing school. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad. You've probably seen this brand a lot in school because it is a very high-tech brand brand this is the way it looks i absolutely love this laptop so much it is literally it's so light 
I had to switch because the first laptop that I had that I was starting with, it was also Lenovo. However, it was just way too heavy. My back would hurt. So even if it, this isn't the laptop that you guys get, I really recommend getting something that is comfortable, that is light in weight. And um, because it makes your life so much more easier and it's really convenient to have. So the next item that I'm going to show you, they have a new addition already. It's going to be the Saunders and Clex exam book. With this book here, I can tell you guys that it was such a great preparation for my SE exam. I don't know if you guys know this, but in nursing school, you are required not only to take your entrance exam, which, but you are required to take state-made exams throughout like your blocks. So at the end of the block, we not only had our um, final exam, but we also had, it was called just like the HESI exam. And on this HESI exam, they basically are the people who make your NCLEX big state boarding exam. And these little exams are just to see where you stand. They are a part of your grade, but this was the best way that I could have studied for that HESI exam at the end of the semester. So this was my best friend. I can tell you guys that it has great information inside of it. The authors really know what they're talking about. Even if these questions are not asked on your actual exams for class, I still recommend getting it because this is all that a nurse needs to know is this book you guys see this time and time again but this was my saving grace for that last and final exam of mine so invest in this maybe get the newer edition this is the edition seven they have the edition eight now these next two things that i'm going to show you guys i was debating whether or not i wanted to put it on this video however a lot of people have recommended these books in the past a lot of friends a lot of nurses now and um, i purchased these books however i have have not opened them myself and I haven't used them so I cannot tell you if they're super helpful or I can't tell you how these are you know from my perspective however I just wanted to throw them on here because I have heard amazing things about these and I have seen and read a lot of great reviews so I just wanted to include them either way I do hope to use this book this upcoming up to and maybe there's a newer edition because this was from 2018 2019 but the first book is called Called test success this is the eighth edition um, with this book here I was working at the doctor's office at the time and the girl that came in was also part of the CEP program and she was just being so so helpful so kind and this was one of the books that she highly recommended okay so for this book right here it is mnemonic so if you are a visual learner I didn't like go through here and color and all that stuff however I did go through this book and I really remembered some of the images on it so a lot of just images that really could help you while you're uh, like taking your exam you know so a friend did recommend this for me as well so first day of school I brought this and it is a rolling backpack <laughs> So I brought this the first day of school. I had all of my like hardcover books. Like I told you guys, I love them so much. And I had everything in here, right? So I couldn't imagine carrying everything that I brought the first day of class to school like in a regular backpack. Like, so I used this and it was so helpful. I used this rolling backpack for like the first couple of weeks. And then I kind of noticed that a lot of people didn't buy hardcover books. I wasn't using them as much because I liked the online format that they had for our books. So I eventually just turned to like the online system and I started using that a lot more often. And then I'm like, well, there's no point of carrying my rolling backpack if I'm not gonna bring like my hardcover books anymore. Um, but if you are like the paper and uh, hardcover in your hand and you don't like the digital version, I do recommend getting a... Okay guys, so the last and final item that I have, it is actually pretty funny. People laugh at me all the time for this, but I cannot tell you guys how much this item has been my saving grace, my holy grail, while I am studying for like 12 hours straight. I'm actually kind of embarrassed to show you guys, but I think you guys would also find it useful <laughs> and probably pick on me for the rest of my life. But portable back massager. <laughs> I have never seen anybody in all these nursing videos that I've ever watched mention one of these as an essential. However, if you are like me and you get stressed and you collect it in like your upper back and your shoulder blades, like 
this will be your best friend. It's really cool because um, it could tie onto like your chair while, while you're studying and stuff like that. So I really, really like it. And then it has a mode on here where it also heats up. So like it's like a warm massage while you're studying and you're crying. <laughs> so yes, I really, really, really found this so useful. But that basically is all of it so i really hope you guys found this video useful i really enjoyed filming it and i really enjoyed showing you guys everything that i use in nursing schools this was my essentials this is what got me through and i really couldn't live without any of these items that i showed you guys today so had anything that you use in nursing school that i didn't mention drop it down in the comments maybe um, include the link with it to help other people out i'm pretty sure that would be super super useful so, I hope you guys have a very blessed weekend, and don't forget to like this video. Go ahead and follow me on all of my social media accounts, which my names will be posted down below, and just like always, guys, have a beautiful, blessed rest of your day.